Hello friends, today we will be synthesizing potassium chromate and dichromate from chromic oxide. Chromic oxide is a green fluffy powder available as the chrome green pigment in pottery supplies. I am using the leftovers from the ammonium dichromate video which I had posted like one week back. Do check it out if you have not seen it. I washed the chromic oxide to remove any unreacted dichromate crystals. For this synthesis, we need 6.5 grams of potassium hydroxide, 5 grams of chromic oxide and 5 grams of potassium nitrate. Start by heating a metal bowl and transferring 6.5 grams of potassium hydroxide into it. Continue heating the bowl until the potassium hydroxide melt. Mix the contents well so that all the chunks and flakes of potassium hydroxide melt and it forms a uniform liquid. Once it is a uniform liquid, transfer the chromic oxide into it and mix well with the molten potassium hydroxide. I had to add 4 grams more of potassium hydroxide because I felt like the chromic oxide is not getting properly mixed with the potassium hydroxide. That is not a serious problem and it is not going to affect the end product. When everything turns into a thin paste, add the 5 grams of potassium nitrate into it and mix everything up well. Now you can see the green color of chromic oxide. We have to continue heating for 20 minutes. After about 5 minutes of heating, you can see that the color has become a little dull which means the reaction has started. What's happening is a redox reaction. Potassium nitrate is the oxidizing agent which itself got reduced to potassium nitrite. Chromic oxide is the reducing agent which itself got oxidized to plus 6 state. By 20 minutes, the reaction mixture has become a yellow paste and now we put off the flame and let it cool. Here I have done a tiny mistake, even though it seemed like it cooled down, it was pretty warm which I did not notice. I transferred the solid into warm water and it resulted in a splash. So I decided to let it cool and after cooling I poured the water into the metal bowl and washed off everything into this beaker. After washing I got a dark solution which contained some oxides and whatever unreacted debris which I had to filter. I am using a gravity filtration and on filtration the filtrate appeared nice golden yellow color. This is the potassium chromate. Now I heated the resultant solution to boil off the excess water for recrystallization. After that I let it cool down to room temperature and then I decided to keep it in refrigerator to cool overnight. On cooling, you see the crystals have started to appear. Now I decant the mother liquor and here you have the crystals of potassium chromate. The crystals of potassium chromate have needle shaped structure. I did a second recrystallization from the mother liquor and these are the crystals formed. Then I decided to transfer these crystals onto a tissue paper to dry. Finally, 
This is what we have. The nice yellow colored crystals of potassium chromate from all that green fluffy chromic oxide. Next we will be synthesizing potassium dichromate. We are synthesizing potassium dichromate from the already prepared potassium chromate. Take some potassium chromate crystals and create a saturated solution with minimum amount of distilled water. Mix well, you will have a nice yellow solution. Now we add 4 ml of glacial acetic acid to acidify the solution. The color immediately changes from yellow to deep orange color because the chromates are converted to dichromates. The chromate to dichromate conversion is dependent on pH. If the solution is acidic, chromate to dichromate reaction take place and if it is basic, the reaction proceeds backwards. Now as we always do, boil off the excess amount of water and stop the boiling when crystallization point is reached. On cooling, crystals of potassium dichromate separate out. I have already made some excess potassium dichromate with some 20 grams of potassium chromate which I had made earlier before recording this video. Now allow it to dry and then transfer it into a tissue paper to dry completely. After drying completely, pack them both, that is the potassium chromate and dichromate, in airtight containers and label them. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you loved the contents of this video, do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button so that you will get notified about my new videos. I can improvise a lot more if you can financially support me through Patreon or PayPal. Links are given in the description.